Sports fans, I hope you're ready because I've got some of the world's most crazy, wild, and hysterical sports to share with you guys today. Let's not waste any time. On to the video. P.U. What is that smell? Oh, right. It's our first sport, toe wrestling. I'm sure you all heard of thumb wrestling and arm wrestling, but some people play with their toes. It works a lot like arm wrestling. The first to pin down the other person's foot wins. It's even considered polite to take off your opponent's socks and shoes before playing. Yuck! I think we need to move on. Smell you later. At number nine, we have race walking. But we walk every day. How hard could it be? Actually, race walking is an Olympic sport that proves to be a real challenge. You always have to have at least one foot on the ground at all times. The world record time for race walking a single mile is five minutes and 36 seconds while Bernardo Segura of Mexico was able to walk 15,557 meters or 170 football fields in one hour. Now that's really fast considering you look like you have to go to the bathroom. Oh man, I like the sound of this one, canine freestyle. In this sport, a person and their canine companion perform a dance to their favorite song. Dogs can bow, roll, spin, and jump with their trainers to their favorite beat. Who let the dogs out? Woo, 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 woo. Now, we've got another animal sport, but this time, there's a twist. At number seven, we have hobby horsing. In this sport, people compete in agility courses just like horseback riding, except they don't ride horses. They ride these toys called hobby horses, making this the perfect sport for anyone who might be a little nervous about riding a real horse. This sport may look like hobby horsing, but players ride on broomsticks, not hobby horses. Quidditch is based on the game with the same name from the Harry Potter series, but muggles have adapted the game to be played on the ground. The keeper protects the three hoops from the chasers who use a deflated volleyball. The beaters throw dodgeballs at the chasers, and the seeker chases the golden snitch to win the game. The snitch is a tennis ball in a sock attached to someone's shorts. And before proper rules were established, Snitches were allowed to do anything, including locking themselves in cars. Our number five sport is cheese rolling. In cheese rolling, a wheel of cheese is rolled down a hill and the winner is the one that catches the cheese. Sounds simple, right? Well, running down a hill is a lot harder than it seems. People slip and tumble all the time. I should clarify that this is a sport you should not try at home. These people really should be wearing helmets. Safety, people. At number four, we have competitive sleeping? You might know that in countries like Spain, stores close down in the afternoon for a while so everyone can get a rest. This is called a siesta, and Spain held its first national siesta championship in 2010. From there, the competitive sleeping league was established and competitive sleeping was born. Oh, oh, I'm getting tired. On to the next sport. This Japanese sport is called butaoshi. It translates to knocking pole over and is played with up to 300 students in schools in Japan. The students split into two teams with each team having 75 attackers and 75 defenders. The defenders try to defend their team's pole from being knocked over and the attackers try to knock their opponent's pole down at least 30 degrees. This sport also looks a bit dangerous, but at least they're wearing helmets this time. At number two, we have curling. Curling is a winter sport that involves sliding a stone on a sheet of ice in order to hit a target. It's a lot like shuffleboard if you've ever played that. You can see people with brooms furiously sweep in front of the sliding stone, and that's to control the direction and distance the stone travels. It's the second Olympic sport on our list, and also our second sport played with a broom. That's just cray cray. And at number one, we have slam ball. Slam ball is played exactly like basketball, but with one key difference. The court has trampolines all over it. These trampolines add some real height to the game, making it the most fun sounding on the list. By being able to jump so high, players can pull off some seriously cool moves like these. I definitely have to find a slam ball court near me, but before then, I think I might get some practice in competitive sleeping. Well, that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed my picks for the world's most wild sports. See you guys next time. Peace.